year what's happening good morning ladies and gentlemen and thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all again for tuning in to another vlog i'm actually still out here in tanzania out in the bush still doing my safari thug thizzle you know what i'm saying you know during my time out here i've actually had a lot of ideas for some vlogs that i wanted to do and i figured this might be one of them so with all that being said here's what's in my camera bag Again, thank y'all for taking some time to check out another vlog and spending some of your valuable time with me. You know, Jay-Z said it best. You literally could have been anywhere else in the world, but you decided to spend some of your time with me, and for that, I'm very appreciative. Before we go any further, you know we gotta get the official business out the way. If y'all could, go ahead and hit that bell for the notifications so y'all can stay up to date when all my videos is dropping and when the next ones is coming. If y'all could, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. All you gotta do is hop on YouTube, hop in that search bar and type in G space is space international. And then if you could, go ahead and hop on Instagram and follow your boy at the same name, at G is international. So, like I said, I had a lot of ideas about what I wanted to do here, but I think it would be very important you know to kind of let people know you know some of the things that they should have when they on safari when it comes to photography and videography there really is no set list on like what you should have or what you shouldn't have it's really all about what can you get your hands on and what you got so if you're into the hobby i believe this video might just be for you if ever you're thinking about coming out and doing a safari or if you're into wildlife and stuff like that like i believe this video might be for you and might help you out a lot so in my humble opinion i do believe that cameras and safaris and wildlife and nature all of them go together they're all synonymous there it's literally like a fat kid loving cake you know what i'm saying hey if you know you know and shout out to 50 cent for that line because it's the truth it's definitely like a fat kid loving cake you dig yo and not too much on the joke show like let me be corny for a minute like not too much like relax you know what i'm saying like just just kind of relax y'all <laughs> okay so it goes without saying the one thing that i treasure the most that's in my bag is my camera body now on this particular trip i actually have three camera bodies i have the sony a7r2 i have the sony a7 III and I have the Sony A7S 3 Obviously, you can't see the Sony A7S 3 right now as it's really built and specifically made for video capture and that's actually what I'm talking to you all on right now. I'll also have a wide selection of lenses to go along with them. I have my Cigna 50 millimeter lens. I have my Sony G200 to 600 millimeter lens. I have my Sony G Master 16 to 35 millimeter lens and I have my Tamron 28 to 200 lens. So the three camera bodies along with three different lenses equipped to them at the same time, it just makes sense to me to be able to just pick up a camera and move how I want to move instead of trying to pick up a camera, change a lens, change a lens, change a lens. I already have pre-planned how I think I want to move and I have those lenses attached and all I have to do is when I'm in a situation or when I see something I want to capture, all I have to do is pick up the appropriate camera and move as such. And plus to be completely honest, it's also nice to have an extra camera body on your hand should anything happen. You know, you're riding out here in the Savannah and a lot of these roads are just, you know, dirt roads and it's rocks and it's bumpy there's really no pavement you know what i'm saying so you're liable to be shaking all over the place your equipment is liable to be bumping and jumping all over the place and should anything happen you got another camera to serve at the backup you feel me i also brought along my gopro hero 9 black and it actually shoots from as far out as 14 millimeters up to 27 millimeters so i actually have a very diverse set of tools at my hand to use while i'm out here in the bush and again it just really makes sense to be able to be diverse and to be able to shoot at different lengths because you never know what situation you'll find yourself in when you're out here shooting i think you also need to have in mind that you don't always need to go out as far as you can go sometimes it makes sense to peel back and produce a wider angle image 
Sometimes the better images that are produced are the ones where you can capture the scene of what you see in versus just a portrait of that particular animal. With that being said, it is also very important to sometimes have that nice telephoto lens, like I said, something that can shoot very far, you know, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, and child, there are some even more expensive ones that shoot even further. But you know, you're in the wild and you wanna be smart enough and be aware that you have to absolutely show respect to these animals cause child, it might be a bad day if it get too close, you feel what I'm saying? So the remedy for that is to be a good distance away, but have something that could shoot far out to get you the story, the scene, the picture, of whatever it is you're trying to capture. Another thing that's in my bag that goes with my cameras are batteries. Trust me, you will need extra batteries. In my bag, I got anywhere up to about eight or nine batteries to be able to hold me down. I also got three different chargers so that I can charge up to five batteries at one time. So this way I can constantly keep going. You know, there've been multiple times, even while I've been on Safari, this go around where my camera has died. And all I had to do was take that battery out, pop another in, and I could put that one right back on the charger and keep it going. You never slow down and it's never really a heartbreak scenario. So extra batteries is a must. Extra batteries is an absolute must. I also have two batteries for my GoPro as well. So I'm telling you, um, Stay strapped, y'all. I'm, I'm ready to go. Something else to consider to keep in your bag and keep on hand while you're out here. In my case, I have about five memory cards to be able to use. And none of them are less than 128 gigabytes. I would keep them in like a nice little case, but I generally keep them in the cameras. I also decided to bring along my portable hard drive. This way, I can take stuff off of the memory cards and I can slide them onto the portable hard drive if necessary. Obviously, it goes without saying, I also have my laptop. So at the end of the day, and of your particular safari, I guarantee you, you're gonna wanna go back and look back at all your pictures and see all of the things that you've captured. It will be nice to be able to not only do that on your camera, but as well be able to see it on a bigger screen to be like, yeah, I did that, I did that, you feel me? I also have two tripods in my bag. Um, they're not essential, but they're nice to have. You know, stabilization is key in a lot of situations and you know, mounting your camera on a tripod, you know, can help stabilize yourself and you know, so you're not shaking all over the place. I have a pair of binoculars and that goes without saying what they are used for. Something else you may wanna consider putting in your bag are remote triggers to your cameras. Me, I have mine with my phone and it's synonymous with the Imaging Edge app for Sony. You know, I can connect my phone straight to the camera and then I can use it as a remote trigger. I also thought it was smart to bring along a nice little extension cord. This way, at any given time, I could charge or hook multiple things up to it. You know, I got four available outlets instead of one. Alongside the extension cord, I bought me two extra European plugs as that's the outlet standard out here in Tanzania. And then of course, I have my numerous miscellaneous cables. You know, I got my iPhone charger, I got numerous USB cables, numerous USB-C cables, numerous mini USB cables. Of course, I also brought me a nice pair of sunglasses. When you're standing up in the safari truck or got your windows open, there's gonna be dust and sand blowback coming your way, so you wanna have something over your eyes to kind of cover and protect it from sand and debris flying in your face. Child, let me tell you, I done had a few times where beetles done came and smacked me in the face or small little little pebbles done smack me and it hurt and I guarantee you it would be nice if you had something to protect your eyes you don't want something like that just knocking your eye sockets out I bought me some sunscreen lotion because you will be outside for a long time and you don't want your nice pretty little skin to get all burnt up and damaged and I also got some mosquito repellent because child they out here and trust me when I say you are gonna wish you had some so why you even watching this video just go get you some mosquito repellent and put it in your bag forget you even put it there because you're going to thank me later that you have mosquito repellent in your bag okay the last thing that i brought with me is a nice little bean bag you can throw it over the window of the truck and you just fill it up with either you know some sand some beans or some rice that's what i put in mine but the purpose of them is so when you're riding in your safari truck you have something to prop yourself up against and prop your camera equipment up against so that you're not shaking all the time and things like that and you can kind of keep a stabilized effect of course i keep all of this in a nice little camera bag that's specifically meant to hold all of these different things it got different styrofoam compartments that you can take and remove and attach how you want but it's built to hold all of these different things as well as your numerous cameras the last thing i really want to point out in this video 
is that yo, just use what you have. Please don't go out and try to buy all this fancy camera equipment that you might see others with. Yo, if all you got is a small point and shoot camera, if all you have is your cell phone, use it. When I tell you the first time I came out in Safari, I literally had a beginner's camera. I had a Canon EOS Rebel T7i. And for all purposes, that is a beginner's camera, but it's all I had to use and it worked and it was perfect for what it did. My overall point is it's about the experience. It's about, it's about you creating these memories again. Just take that into consideration. Use what you have. All right, y'all, so that's really about it. That's really all I keep in my camera bag. Nothing crazy, nothing special. I just wanna say thank y'all for taking some time out to check out this quick video, this quick vlog. I just wanted to be a little bit informative and just try to give back and help how I can so that, you know, when you come out here, you know, you got an idea of how you wanna maneuver and some of the things that you might wanna carry along, especially if you're into the craft and or hobby or you a full blown out professional and you've never done it before, I feel like this might help. So that's all I got for this particular video and vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all could, once again, if you haven't, please go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date of when all G is International videos is dropping and you can catch them things and check them out immediately. If y'all could, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. All you gotta do is hop in the space bar and type in G space IZ is space international and you'll find me right there. And all you gotta do is click on that button for your boy. Trust me, it helps, every bit helps. And also, if you could, also so hop on Instagram and follow your boy on Instagram at G is International. All right, y'all, so this is how we're going to end it. I'm going to just end the video, and I'm going to just show y'all some pictures that I took from my first safari experience, as well as some dope ones that I managed to capture this go-round. But until next time, this is Nat G-O-G, Mr. G is International. And until next time, and until that next special video, and until we meet again, peace out. Y'all be easy.